All right, let's go on to proportion problems. Now, these set of problems a little bit different because look at the statement that's being made here, solve each proportion. So they're telling you a statement, hey, that these fractions here are, in fact, proportions. So their cross products must, in fact, be equal to one another. Okay? So with that said, we can solve these proportions rather easy. So let's go ahead and do what we were doing in previous problems. We're going to set up the cross products as being equal to another. So 10 times x must be equal to 7 times 4. Okay, so 10 times x, we write that this way, must be equal to 7 times 4. And of course, that's 28. And then we go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by 10. So 28 divided by 10. And if somebody want to use your calculator, go right ahead. And you should get, obviously, 2.8, okay? All right, so x equals 2.8. We'll just write that right here. And that is the solution to that proportion problem. And that's how all proportion problems are going to work. All right, and remember, the difference here is that the question is saying solve each proportion. Hey, we know it's a proportion, so solve it. Rather than the second or the first question up here, let's just go back and review. Determine if it's a proportion. Okay? I just want to make sure that's clear. All right, so we got these last three problems. I would definitely um, encourage you to go ahead and pause the video and see if you can uh, finish these up. So we have 60 times 2, and is that equal to 5m? Of course it is because this is a proportion, so 5m must be equal to 60 times 2, okay? So we have um, 5m equals to 120, or m is equal to 120 divided by 5, and let's go ahead and figure that out. 120 divided by 5 is 24. There you go. All right, so m is equal to 24. Moving on, we have 3 times 14, and that's got to be equal to 4 times D. So 4D has got to be equal to 3 times 14. And once again, get your calculator out. So this is 42. So 4D equals 42. And 42... 42 divided by 4 is 10.5. So D equals 10.5. All right. Uh, last problem, but once again, it's going to work the same way. 9.2 times T must be equal to 4.3 times 3.9 because these pair of fractions form a proportion. So 9.2 times t, that's how we write that in algebra, equals 4.3 times 3.9. So let's go ahead, get our calculators. 4.3 times 3.9, 16.